eyes closed, zipping up his pants. Hi guys, what's up? It's your girl Kay Chantel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for sticking around. Random fact of the day. Today's random fact of the day is that you cannot breathe and swallow at the same time. Try it out. Come on, try it out. Come on, do it. Do it! <laughs> okay. okay, so now that we've done the random fact of the day that no one asked for, today's video is going to be a fun one, hopefully entertaining one for you guys. Get your blanket, get cuddled up and sit back and relax because this is about to be interesting, guys. Okay guys, so we're gonna start it off a little bit tame and then we're gonna get more interesting as the stories go by. So the first story is the time that this guy randomly elbowed me in the face. Boom! So this was in my first year of university. I think it was Freshers Week. I don't know if you have it in America or wherever you are, you are watching this from, but basically what Freshers Week is, is it's a week in the UK before you start your university. So you're already in university, but you're a fresher and you basically go clubbing literally every single day of the week. Only if you want to, like, it's not by force. So yeah, so it was like my Freshers Week. I was just settling into university. We've gotten dressed up, we go out and we're in the line. We're in the queue, sorry, to go into this club there's a little bit of a hustle and bustle like this boy is getting dragged out of the club i think he was being a nuisance or whatever so i just literally turned around to look at what was going on the boy looks at me i don't know what i did i don't know if it's because i'm a, or a negro i don't know so the boy looks at me and literally before i could even do anything like turn my head away or anything man just goes right in my nose like uppercutted me like my glasses like it was just like you know and i was like ciao and the thing is i couldn't even i was so shocked i was like did this really just happen and let me tell you something i've never been in a fight with anyone i've never even been punched by anyone that was the first time that a stranger just decided to you know have it out with me and i was like i couldn't even fight back because after he did that the bodyguards or like whatever you want to call them the security guards of the club literally grabbed the guy pinned him down to the floor they're like that's it you're going down now you need slapping down so that was that i was really pissed off obviously i'm like what the hell i mean i was a little bit tipsy so it didn't hurt as much but i'm just like the violation man just came and punched me in the face honestly it was it was a deadly day after that happened i was like this. Fuck this shit, I'm out. So we left, me and my friend left the club and I got chicken nuggets to make me feel better and that was that. Basically, I get this email and it's something along the lines of you need to come in for a discussion. Can you let us know when would be a good time for you to have this discussion because of some misbehavior that you've been doing in the lectures? And I'm panicking. In first year, sometimes I would miss lectures. So I'm thinking, do they know that I haven't been going to lectures? Is that what this is about? I was thinking, no, I swear, like I'm gonna come every day, like please, just none of these meetings. Like I was shook, guys. I was thinking, no, I swear, like I'm gonna come every day, like please, just none of these meetings. Like I was shook, guys. Because if you saw the tone of the letter, like they weren't playing. Like whatever they thought I would done, I had done, it was serious. It was serious business. I'm really getting anxiety over this and I finally go in for the meeting. So when I go to the place, I see there's two other people. Now one of the girls I knew a little bit at the time, she's now one of my good friends now. And then the boy, like I, I didn't know him, I don't think at that time. Now let me note that both of the individuals are also of the Negro race. They're also Negroes. So I'm already thinking, hmm, something, something funny about this. Hmm. So I go over to them and I'm like, oh, cause I didn't really want to reveal why I was there because it was just quite embarrassing. Like it's like the first, second week of uni or whatever, the first month. And I'm already being called in to have a chat about my behavior. Like it just wasn't it. So I kind of like try and say, oh, 
so what are you guys here for? Are you just chilling? Like, what are you doing here? And they're like, they're, they're a little bit shy as well, like, mm, well, you know, we're here for like some meeting thing. And I'm like, oh, the meeting, like, you about to go in there? And I was like, I'm about to go in there as well. And they're like, wait, you? And I was like, yeah, I don't know why. And then they're like, oh, well, we think it's because last week that we had a little bit of an altercation. It wasn't really an altercation. They had a misunderstanding with some mature students at the university. So they were basically saying to me that, yeah, we had a little bit of a misunderstanding with these women. I think we got reported, blah, 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 blah. And now we're here. Then I was like, okay, that's all good and well, but what's that got to do with me? And then they were like, yeah, we don't know what that's got to do with you. It's kind of funny because there was another girl who was involved. So basically, so let's just give these people names actually to make this clearer. So the boy, Lemon, my friend, we'll just call her Strawberry and then we'll call the other girl Apple, okay? So Strawberry and Lemon were the ones that were at the meeting with me. Apple was not there. Strawberry was telling me that Apple was actually involved in a situation as well. Apple had been talking to Strawberry. The lecturer was like, you guys need to stop talking, blah, 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 blah. And then they, she thinks that the lecturer is the one that reported her, so that that's why she's at the meeting. And also because of the altercation or the misunderstanding that they had of the mature woman. So they think those two reasons were why they were at the meeting. So I'm like, okay. So then Strawberry says, but I think that this is racial profiling because the girl, like Apple, is, is the one that probably shouldn't, should have been called in, not you. And I was saying it's funny because on that day that you guys are talking about, I wasn't even there. I was at home, I was sleeping. I mean, I shouldn't have been, but I was catching some Z's. So, I'm, so, so the girl, Apple, literally looks nothing like me. The only similarity we share is like we have the same skin tone and we're both like the same height. And that's literally it. I don't know how he was able to mistake us. I even wear glasses and she doesn't. So we go in to the um, office and before we went in actually, before we go into the office, Strawberry is like to me, you need to make sure that you mention that this is racial profiling because it is, you know, call it for what it is. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we go into the office and we all sit down and the woman is like, oh, do you guys, do you guys know why you're here? Lemon and Strawberry obviously say, oh, well, we think it was because of this, what they basically just told me outside. And then I'm like, I don't know why I'm here actually. I really don't. First of all, I wasn't even there. I mean, I didn't really want to admit that, but it supported my case because this, remember, this is the head of law of the law department. So me admitting that I wasn't at the lecture sounds a bit off, but I was like, yeah, I wasn't even there. So I don't really know what this has got to do with me. And then I was like, I, I, I said the word, I said, I think it's, um racial profiling. Oh, the way that they shook. The way that they started backtracking, they were like, no, no, we would never. Oh no, we could never. Oh, how could you say that? And as soon as I said that, the conversation was finished. It was off. They didn't even want to talk about what happened anymore. They changed the subject and started like trying to make us more comfortable. They're like, oh, anyway, ciao, so ciao, anyways. The um, ciao, anyway, so. So how are you guys finding university? Do you like it? Do you enjoy it? And we literally sat there for 10 minutes with them asking us how we're finding uni and all of this. I'm confused. I'm thinking, so why are we here? Did you just call me in for a chat and a cup of tea or what? It was the strangest thing ever. So then like, yeah, they're backtracking. They're trying to like make sure that we don't think that they're being racist. And and yeah, that was that. was that. We were just all so confused. And then we left the room after that and went our separate ways. And we were all just like, what just happened? This particular time, I think it was exam season and me and my friend, and we were supposed to be like doing coursework, but this girl, she was in third year. She said to us, oh, it's varsity tomorrow. Varsity is basically like sports day type of thing. Like there's loads of sports going on between two different universities. So that's basically what it is, just in case you're not sure. This girl in third year, she tells us, yeah, come out with me tomorrow. It's gonna be great. So many people are gonna be there. It's gonna be packed. I can get you VIP passes, you know, drinks, everything it's sorted so you know me i like a good freebie do you know what i mean i'm here to enjoy myself jc style do you know what i mean i just want to be me so you know exams were next week but who cares when you're a baby girl you gotta live your life me and my friend we both decided that 
we were gonna do it. So let's skip to the day. So on the day we've gotten ready, we're looking cute. I didn't live at the same accommodation as my friend, so I went to go and meet her. And then from hers, we were gonna go and travel to the girl's house. So we got a little bit lost on the way. We ended up getting off at the wrong bus stop. And there was this guy, we knew of him. I can't say we were friends, kind of like acquaintances I guess you could say he saw us because we were outside the other student accommodation that's where we were lost basically and he saw us he came over to us and he's like oh you guys look lost blah 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 where are you going I don't know your name but excuse me miss and we were like because mm, we weren't really trying to talk to him too much because he was a bit of a womanizer basically and he was like oh me and my friend are like going somewhere so we can give you a lift to the girl's house and me and my friend were like uh uh, yeah, okay. I was a bit reckless back then. Luckily they were safe and nothing happened to us So we get to her house. There's like three other girls there really lovely girls and we're all just drinking You know just sitting chilling and the girl was just explaining to us. Oh, yeah Like we're gonna go to this guy's house after his flat and you know, it's really nice blah 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 There's gonna be drinks. There's gonna be stuff we're thinking, yeah, it's gonna be a good night, we're gonna be lit. So we go to the guy's house. So we walk into the flat and all the guys were really friendly, you know, really nice. They're not really on any predatory vibes. They're just trying to chill. They were bringing over like drinks for us. Oh, child, when I tell you that we were lit, oh, child, I felt like I was on another planet. Like, I, I was just, you know? So we leave this flat, we start making our way to the club. That alone, like I told you, I was lit, so that was a very big struggle. We get to the club, we go through immediately because we've got the VIP passes. So we get in, there's like more drinks at the table again. Gosh, I wasn't even trying to touch that anymore. Like I said, I was finished. I was trying to dance with my friend, but I was just too waved. So I decided to sit down for a bit just to collect my thoughts and to collect myself. This is where it starts to get a little bit sticky. So this guy, I remember him from the house that we'd been at because he came a little bit later on and we walked down there with him and he like comes over to me and he's like oh are you okay you look so sad why are you sitting here alone and i'm like my nigga i'm fucked i'm fucked I, I can't breathe i can't breathe i was like i need to sit here to collect myself and he was like oh like, like what's wrong and i was like I, i'm cross faded and then he was like, oh shit, you shouldn't have smoked if you were gonna drink. And I was like, yeah, that's what I'm telling you. I am finished, I'm done. So then he was like, oh, no, 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 it's cool. Do you want this drink? It should like perk you up a bit. Ciao. I don't know what was going on in Kay's silly little 19 year old brain, but I don't know why I accepted the drink, but I did accept the drink. And I'm pretty sure that drink was laced because after that having that drink my mind was just blank and you might say oh it's because you drank and you smoke but I've done that before on multiple different times even after that happened and I've never experienced that same type of situation of like complete memory loss again so I don't think it was that all I remember really doing on that night is sitting there and sitting still you know and not really doing much I remember there was this guy staring at me sometimes during the night he was giving me some weird look and I just thought, uh-uh, what's happening here? But it was only the next day that I put two and two together and I realized why I was being given the luck. But anyway, we'll, we'll get to that. So let's just say the night ended. I go home, I'm safe, I'm with my friend. Everything was good, didn't have any recollection. So basically the girl who um, invited us to the whole thing in the first place, the next day she's like, oh yeah, yesterday was so lit. Yeah, 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 it was so good. We're like, yeah, yeah, it was waved. Yeah, this, this, this. And then sis goes to me, oh yeah, you were having a good time, weren't you? I said, yeah, yeah, what, yeah, I was. And she goes, yeah, you were dancing with that guy. I said, eh? <laughs> I said, who? Me? Not I? Dancing with who? I said, no, I don't think it was me. Are you sure? She said, no, it was you. And then even my friend, <laughs> even my friend was like, oh yeah, I thought you knew this. I thought you knew this, Kirsten. So I'm just sat there like, these guys are lying. They have to be because I wasn't dancing with no one. I sat in that same spot the whole night and they kept on insisting that no 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 you were dancing with the guy blah 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 at this point i'm shaken to the core because i'm like i don't remember dancing with anyone still to this day like i kind of like don't know i can see it in my head and i don't know if i'm seeing it because i'm now imagining it from how they've told me it happened or if it, it's a memory do you know what i mean yeah, they're like yeah the guy like he had a white shirt the only person that i saw wearing a white top 
was the one that I told you guys just now was staring at me strangely at, when I was sat down. And I said, nah, it can't be. No, 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 no way. And the thing is, the reason it was so embarrassing as well is I can't dance, guys. So I don't know what rubbish I was doing out there, but it couldn't have been good. Oh gosh, I, I, was I not embarrassed? That is so embarrassing. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. Let's fast forward to like last year. Me and my friends started talking about the situation again. We're gonna call the guy, we're gonna call him um, Lemon. No, we've already called that. It's not Lemon from last time, okay? We're gonna call him, we're gonna call this guy Banana, okay? And no, that's not for any silly reasons, but you with your dirty minds. So yeah, we're gonna call this guy Banana. Me and Banana, we ended up hanging out with each other. We would like hang out in, with a group of people like after this happened. And we never spoke about that. I'd never even wanted to ask Banana, did this happen? Because if he said yes, where do we go from there? So I just really acted like I didn't know, have any recollection of that situation. But anyway, I was talking about it with my friend the next year. Because there was two guys wearing white shirts that night, I forgot to mention that. So there was Banana, and then there was the guy who drove us to the girl's house that day. So it could have been either of them. So I asked my friend, I was like, do you really think it was Banana that night that I was dancing on? And oh, I cried. She was like, yeah, Kirsten. Now that I look back and I remember, it was definitely banana. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. And I was like, oh my days. Do you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to say it. Banana was basically my ex-boyfriend's friend. So that's why it's awkward because I then started dating my ex. So yeah, that is the time where I ended up twerking on my ex's friend. And yeah, it, it's, just, it's just tight really, isn't it? And now for the final story, guys. Oh guys, this story. Let me set the scene for you guys. In my first year, I lived with six other people. On this particular night, I'm in my bed. I think I was actually getting ready to sleep. I think it was like two or three a.m. in the three a.m. in the morning. I used to go to bed quite late, basically, and I hear this weird sound outside my bedroom door. It's like tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. like it's like water, almost like someone is pouring water onto my door. Part of me was gonna ignore it because I'm like, I'm tired, man. I don't know what. Like people were doing weird shit all the time, basically at uni. So I was like, I'm not gonna go and investigate. But I thought, nah, there's something strange. So I got up, I turned the light on. Ciao. Why did I see a wet patch on my floor seeping into my room? So I said, oh hell no. So I immediately opened my door and I see my flatmate just standing, eyes closed, zipping up his pants. I said, child, you did not. I didn't say this, but I just, I just, I froze. I was thinking this guy did not just do what I think he just did because the whole, carpet was wet like from where he was standing and then inside my room as well he started walking away and i was like where are you going what are you doing sir just ignored me like he literally just went into his room locked the door and that was that I don't remember if i did but i think i went and knocked on his door like to like to be like yo come out open the fuck up but I don't think he responded. I don't remember if I did that. I either contemplated doing it or I didn't. But honestly, guys, you might comment down below that I would have bopped him, I would have done this, da, 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 da. But the thing is, at the time, when these mad when these mad things happen, all I could do is just stare and think, have I really just been disrespected like this? Has this seriously just happened? So, oh, sorry, I'm out of breath. I just ran downstairs to go and open the door for my sister and now I'm like, oh. But anyway, the guy was knocked out cold, I think. So like, I was thinking, I'm not gonna have this fucking urine sitting on my fucking, sitting on my carpet for all this time. So I had to quickly go and get something to clean it. Oh, I was furious. So I went to bed the next morning. I messaged the guy and I was like, could you come to the kitchen? Because I need to talk to you. He was like waiting in the kitchen, blah, blah, blah. And I go to the kitchen and I'm like, yeah, so basically, do you know what happened yesterday? And he was like, no. And I was like, so you're tell you really telling me you don't know what happened? And he was like, no. And I was like, well, you, you pissed on my door. And Sir was like, I did? And he was like, oh my gosh, like, you know, 
I'm so sorry, like I was drunk, like I had a whole bottle of vodka that time, this, this, that, the other, you know, I, I didn't realise and I was like, yeah, well, that's all good and well, but I was the one that had to clean it because then you went to bed and then he was like, yeah, I'm sorry, like, do you want me to like clean it for you? I was like, damn right, yeah, like, can you clean it? So like he went out, bought some like carpet cleaner to clean the carpet and he cleaned it and everything was cool, right? Like, I thought, okay, he's cleaning it, like, we can move on from this, like, I'm pissed off, but at least he's been apologetic and he's, like, cleaning the carpet, so that at this point, there's nothing much I can really do, do you know what I mean? Like, you can keep cussing someone out, but if they've said they're sorry and they won't do it again and, and they're gonna clean it, like, there's not much else you can do, yeah? Everything was cool until Sir decided to start running his mouth. There was another girl that I lived with who lived opposite to me, and she was, like, she wasn't really, I wouldn't say she was scary. For some reason, people were scared of her. But I think it was just because she was quiet, right? But not, she was like passive aggressive, we'll say that. So he didn't want to get on her bad side. So he was like, oh yeah, I'm just happy that it was your door and not hers because damn, would I have been in for a treat. And I was like, okay. What do you mean? Sorry. So you've just said sorry. And now you're telling me you are happy that it was my door. And, and not hers, because I can be mad too. So like, I was just like, why would you say that? Like, why would someone say something like that? Like, just sometimes just shut up. Like, I'm really annoyed, I'm really angry. I'm thinking, I gave you the benefit of the doubt, you apologised, you said you would clean it, and you know, you cleaned it, that was cool. Why did you have to open your silly mouth and say that? So at this point, ah, oh, I was angry. And the thing is with me, like, I have like two versions of anger. It's either like I go full out and start shouting like a crazy person and cussing people out, which is so bad and I don't like, I don't like doing that. Or I go really quiet and I start ignoring you and you will know that like, I, I was like, no, nah, you've pissed me off to another level. Like you've really annoyed me. So after man said that stupid comment, I literally just started, like, I just stopped talking to him. That guy, I only lived with him for a month after, after that situation because he ended up moving anyway to somewhere else. But for that whole month, nothing, like, we were quite, like, I wouldn't say good friends, but we got along quite well before that rubbish. And that comment really peeved me off because I found it so disrespectful. And so after that situation, I didn't speak to him again, like, unless it was just to say like, oh, excuse me or anything like that. Because do you know how rude that is? We weren't friends again after that, obviously, guys. Like, because what kind of rubbish is that? For me, once you disrespect me like that, it's actually, it's, it's finished. It's finished, it's finished, it's finished, it's finished. So yeah, that is the end of the video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed these stories. I hope I was able to get a little laugh out of you guys. And um, if you've got any requests, because I. I've got stories for days. Uni was a mad one. So if you guys want to hear any more stories, like just comment down below. Like, no, like, you know, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Just comment. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.